Hi everyone, so this is Require Practical 5 and it's the dissection of a fish head. Okay, so with the tweezers I'm going to have a look at the mouth, so you can see the mouth there. Let's have a look inside. The mouth is known as the buccal cavity. You can see the teeth, you can see the tongue, and then through into the mouth and at the back the gills. So covering the outside of the gills is the operculum. This is a bony uh, piece of the outside of the head. OK, and it's a flap and underneath the flap. So I've just swapped over the head to the other side. And in, um, underneath the flap is the gills. OK, and we've got um, I'm, what I'm going to do now is cut the operculum off. It's quite tough to cut even with a um, scalpel as you can see and there we go so I'm just going to use a pair of scissors just to cut the final bit of the operculum okay there we go so what you can see there is the one of the gill arches okay the inside is a gill raker okay there where I'm pointing with my tweezers um, and then on the outside, we've got many, many gill filaments. And there are actually two rows of gill filaments per gill arch. Now, these gill filaments are responsible for absorbing uh, the oxygen. So oxygen diffuses from the water through the gill filaments. And the gill filaments themselves, there are literally hundreds of gill filaments. And on those gill filaments are small lamella. And these are uh, microscopic. You need a microscope to see them. And that further increases the surface area. So there, there you go. There are four gill arches within each gill. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to now cut one of the gill arches or the gill arches out. OK, so we can have a better look at the structure. So again, they are firmly uh, within the head so you've got to really um, push into the head to break the gill arch out okay so now we have one of the gill arches I've got a petri dish with some water and now I'm going to place the gill arch into the water so that we can look at the gill filaments in more detail and as you can see they are um, really thin OK, uh, they're about 20 millimetres uh, long and about one millimetres wide. And you can also see on the inside of the gill arch, the gill rakers, which are used to um, filter things like plankton. Um, but the gill filaments themselves, um, they are there's m many of them and you can measure them. And what you can do is use a piece of string to measure the size of the gill arch and also the gill filaments. In this case, though, I'm going to use a ruler. OK, so as you can see, the gill arch, so it's around about 50 millimetres long. Uh, for that part and about 25 millimeters so about 75 millimeters in length and then I'm going to measure one of the gill filaments which is quite difficult to do with a ruler and I suggest you get a piece of string to do this if you're going to do it yourself so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and work out how many gill filaments there are in 10 millimeters so what I'm doing is trying to count each gill filament and there's they're in double rows okay and as you can see they're extremely thin um, and it's quite difficult to be honest to count those but you can make a good approximation of the number of gill filaments <clears throat> So I would record that in a table and also I would record the width of a gill filament and the length of a gill filament. And then I can try to work out the total surface area of the, the, the gill or both gills. So I'm just trying to measure one, the length of one gill filament. So I've just measured the width and then the length. So 
So I'm measuring the length, so it's around about 25 millimeters. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. So that is a fish dissection and it is showing the main features of the gills in terms of the fact that they are they have a thin surface membrane. There are many gill filaments. You can't see the lamella, but there are many gill filaments increasing the surface area. And obviously within those filaments would be blood uh, capillaries. Um, to maintain a concentration gradient and I hope you have found this useful. Okay.